My name is Daria Loy. I manage user experience innovation at Intel Corporation. And today, I'd like to talk to you about effective computing. There are five contexts that I'm suggesting to you considering for this effective computing. So we talked about education. We talked about health. We talked about automobile social monitoring and retail. These are five fertile grounds onto which really project this effective computing and see what we can do with it. Now, the question is, how do we capture this information? Through what? And to do what with whom? And so the first part is really the device that seems to be best suited for the majority of the type of uh, emotional states that we talked about earlier is actually the wearable space. Because if we want to capture specially physiological signs, well, you need to have sensors on your body. So that's really where uh, wearables can really excel from that perspective. And, so, and also from the perspective of a wearable is very likely something that you're going to carry on your body on in a more constant basis, right? Together with your phone, of course. And so wearables can become a very interesting device area where to focus attention with regards to effective computing. So now, let's assume that we have such wearable. We have such wearable loaded with a lot of sensors that can capture the voice, the gesture, and the physiological signs. What do you use this from a perspective of communicating? What should this wearable device enable? Well, you know, for instance, you can enable better communication between yourselves and other people. It can enable better communication between yourselves and the devices that surround you. And thirdly, it can enable better communication or better flow of information between you and the applications you're using. Because for instance, in the application space as an example, say that I'm using something, an application that I kind of use every day, and now I'm starting to become incredibly frustrated with it. There's something about it that is not working, and I'm really not getting done, and all my physiological signs are telling that I'm not having a good experience at all with this application in this moment. Well, that information can be used at the back end of the application to maybe modify something in the behavior of the application to really resolve the conflict that you're actually living in that moment. This thing can be applied also to people to people. You can use this information to have a better flow and a better communication and a better con connection between you and the people that surround you. And the same thing, again, between you and other devices. So you, know, you can really think about this ecosystem where you have something that you're wearing on your body that is capturing data information and that enables you in return to get you a better experience with other people, with devices surrounding you, and even with applications. As I said earlier, I manage user experience innovation at Intel. As part of my job is really to look at technologies, look at new opportunities, but then ultimately understand whether those technologies and opportunities make sense for end users. I really like to go in the homes of people, interview them, and put ideas in front of them and understand whether or not those ideas bring real value to them. Because there's no reason to develop anything unless it does bring value to someone. You know, <laughs> there's really no point. And so as part of that, when I started looking at these effective computing technologies and investigating them, I got very excited about the concept. But ultimately, my job is to understand whether this makes sense for end users. So what I did with my team was to really try to answer that question. What we did was a study that targeted 300 people in six different countries, as you can see on the chart right now. And we went and asked these people, how do you connect with others right now? Are you happy with how you connect with others right now? What if you could use wearable devices to feel connected with others? What if you could use this type of devices to feel emotionally connected with other people on other parts of the world? So we asked all these questions to find out whether or not we should really look more deeply around these opportunities. And so what we learned is actually very interesting, which is what I really would like to share with you right now. What we've learned is that on one side, people are pretty satisfied with what they have. You know, they use their technologies to con communicate with others through phone calls, through text, by email, in a synchronous or unsynchronous way. So they're not too dissatisfied. However, when we put in front of them the what if questions, what if you could feel connected with others to a wearable device? In that case, 68% of those 300 people told us, I would really love that. And when we ask, what if you could feel a direct emotional connection with people you deeply care about, 
through these wearable devices. 58% of those 300 people said absolutely would love that. So what these numbers are telling us is that the opportunity is not only a technological opportunity, it's also an end-user opportunity. And you, what the end-user is telling us is that they would love to have technology that besides giving them the opportunity to go from A to B in achieving their tasks, technologies that are also capable of creating a connection with the world that is around them. What does this all mean and what does it mean for you? What it really means is that we have an opportunity. On one side I told you we've got a technological opportunity it's because these technologies are emerging and are up and coming. And on the other side we have users telling us I really want it because when we gave the what if questions they were excited. And so the space between these two is a great space of play and innovation. Now, in this big space of plain innovation, we have a lot of questions to answer. And I put some examples on the screen, but there are a lot of interesting questions, particularly from a software perspective. Questions from the interface perspective, from the flow of information perspective, questions from the applications that could be developed perspective. There are many different opportunities. And so the final message that I want to leave you with is that you have an opportunity. You have the opportunity of bringing to life these futures, these futures that can ultimately enrich people's life, delight them, and do so by creating meaningful connections between them through effective computing. You have this opportunity. It's time to take it on.